Campaign groups calling for Manston Airport to reopen were celebrating today after it emerged a Development Consent Order, or DCO, had been granted for it to be turned into an air freight hub. But while some question the environmental impact and the economic benefit, others hope reopening Manston for the first time since 2014 will be a boost to one of the most deprived areas in the southeast. Tony Green sent this. The news that Manston can reopen as an airport after the government granted a development consent order, or DCO, took everyone by surprise. Campaigners were summoned by Facebook today for an improvised celebration at the passenger terminal. Its future has polarised opinion in Thanet, but reopening the airport as a freight hub was welcome here. Absolutely ecstatic. Three and a half thousand of us have fought for Manston for eight and a half years and we finally have the result that we wanted. Manston's tried to operate as a commercial airport before and it's failed. Why will it succeed this time? Before it had one and a half airport stands. This time it will have 19. It's like trying to run a bus service but you've only got one passenger seat. Not everybody, however, is on board. There is already pre-existing capacity for air cargo with pre-existing infrastructure in place, so why do we need it? The second point is it has been made very clear that this disadvantages Ramsgate. Also, this flies in the face of a climate emergency. Owners River Oak have an airport to build, as well as bridges with those who didn't want it. In terms of the first flights landing, we are expecting to be two years in construction, uh, and that's not likely to start for, for the period of time that we need to make sure the master plan is future-proofed. We are focused on, on cargo, um, and, but we are hoping that we will have a small passenger operation running alongside, but it will be relatively small. The ambition for Manston to become a kind of Gatwick um, is just misplaced. The, uh, Manston is in the wrong place to have millions and millions of passengers. But if you, if you have three or four aircraft parked, that generates a million to a million and a half passengers and offers local people the opportunity to get to other parts of Europe. This is supposed to be one of the most disadvantaged areas in the southeast, and this is going to bring jobs. Isn't that a good thing? Jobs, in, in terms of what jobs would there be, the air traffic control, we're told, is going to be done remotely. Freight is often um, largely automated. There aren't going to be the jobs that I think people are expecting. For the best part of a decade, what began life as a First World War airfield became a battlefield. One side now claims victory, but the other may yet want to fight on. Tony Green, ITV News, Manston.